Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Well, folks, it is time once again to look into the abyss and gaze at one of the biggest oddities in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. I am speaking about Tech Genus. Now, if you've already watched the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, you are familiar with this archetype. In fact, Simo has played it on a previous episode. TG Stun is a deck that was around in late 2011 and early 2012. Now, I said around like that because it wasn't particularly good. While it was a deck that you would expect to face at something like a local or a regional, it wasn't expected to perform at the highest levels of competition. Until it did. In 2012, February to be exact, Tech Genus had two really impressive showings at YCS Atlanta. The second showing by Brandon Buck was a top 32, which you see in front of you here, and the first showing by Marquise Henderson actually won the event. Now, I should impart to you that YCS Atlanta was an extremely high-powered format. Marquis Henderson at the time was an individual who was very new to Yu-Gi-Oh! and was very young as well. I believe he was 16 years old at the time he won this 1,400-person event. To me, more interesting than the list was the stir that this caused in the ultra-competitive community. See, a discussion had already been brewing as to whether Yu-Gi-Oh! was a viable mechanism for testing one's skill. Maybe it was just more of a party game, uh, something that you could play with friends, but ultimately a piece of children's entertainment, not chess. Was it Super Smash Bros. Melee, or was it Shrek Super Slam? For the Super Slammers, the TG victory was proof positive that Yu-Gi-Oh! didn't really have to be taken that seriously. No matter how much effort you put in developing personal skill, an individual who just started Yu-Gi-Oh! recently could go on a dream run. No matter what the matchup spread of the deck that you select, if you hit the right portions of the metagame, you could walk away with a series of victories. And no matter how much strategy you inject into your individual games, the draws off the top and the suite of trap cards and monsters that you find might be more determinative than how effectively you play them. It sounds petty, and it was, but in truth it was a very big discussion at the time, and thankfully it's a discussion that we have grown out of since. Now I'm not playing Marquise Henderson's first place list, instead I'm playing Brandon Buck's top 32 one, and that's because it's got a couple of things that I find a little more janky than the winning one. Uh, firstly, it didn't actually clear out of the top 16, and as a result I think it's more applicable to History of Jank, uh, but you can see it's also playing a very strange engine in King Tiger Wongu. This 4-star 1700 attack monster destroys any monster with 1400 or less attack that is normal or special summoned. That includes TG Warwolf and TG Striker. This is a mechanism for you to chew through your individual TG monsters and also lock your opponent out of summoning anything that would be a utility bomb and potentially threaten a synchro. We're playing three copies of Flamvel Fire Dog and a Flamvel Magician is still a decent way to get the train rolling if your game plan is just to normal summon a monster and attack. Two Wangu, triple Rush Rhino, triple TG Striker, and triple Warwolf. While these do have the capacity to perform synchro summons, they're mostly used as an endless conga line of assholes, supported by a very robust spell and trap lineup. Speaking of, we've got Book of Moon, Dark Hole, True Nade, Mind Control, Monster Reborn, double MST, double Pot, two Dimensional Prison, a Bottomless Trap Hole, two Horn of the Phantom Beast, one Mirror Force, one Royal Oppression, double Double Seven Tools of the Bandit, One Solemn Judgment, and Two Warning. Three TGEM1, the reason to play the deck, a Trap Card that is Snatch Steel, and a Torrential Tribute in the side. We've got the Cypher Soldiers, the Cyber Dragons, the Puppet Plants, a Nobleman of Crossout, the HL1, two Goes and Match, one Mind Crush, a Pulling the Rug, and two Shad Imp. Not a lot of note in the extra deck, though I will point out the two Scrap Dragon, the two TG Wonder Magician, the sole representative of the Tech Genus archetype, and the Trishula. So with that, let's hope that we can replicate Simo's success 
while he was playing this build in history. Quake before me, mortals! You are in the presence of Thor, Lord of the Acer! This deck is awful. How did this actually get a top 32 cut at YCS Toronto in 2011, I believe? Welcome to the Xyz era, ladies and gentlemen, where anything tops in Yu-Gi-Oh! and especially Nordic. I am so hyped to play this. There are people who are die-hard Nordic fans. I'm not one of them. I've never read a Nordic card in my life. That's not true. But I can say that I've never played Nordic in my life. And that's what History of Jank is all about, right? Us finding these janky decks that people have played, trying to navigate ourselves to a win, and hopefully getting out of the jank tank. Although, I think it's pretty fitting for this episode, considering I'm playing Nordic of all things, but here we are. So, I don't know how Joseph talked me into this, but let's do the card by card. So, the strength of this deck is the fact that the Nordics have some rather interesting pieces of support. The main Nordic monsters include... Goldfax, Goldfire, I don't know how to pronounce this. I apologize, Nordic viewers. This is a tuner, which is quite relevant, a light level four tuner with 1600 attack that if your opponent controls a synchro monster and you don't control any, you can special it from your hand. So it's a really bad cyber dragon, right? We also have three copies of Tangnoster, the Nordic beast. This is a pretty interesting card. So when a monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to your grave, you can special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, when this defense position card on the field is changed to face up attack position, you can special summon a Nordic Beast Monster from your deck in defense, except another copy of itself. So this is sort of like a Gravekeeper Spy type of card for the Nordic archetype. But what's neat is that when a monster is dying, you can special this. And it's most likely if it's at the end of an attack cycle, you can then switch this to attack at the beginning of your first turn. And you're sort of off to the races with your deck's combos. We're also playing one Tangrisnir of the Nordic Beast. This is uh, similarly looking to this one, but this one's a white goat. And this is a black goat, I believe. This one if it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you special summon two Nordic Beast tokens. So this is great because it allows you to get the fodder necessary to go into the large Nordics because they are level 10 synchros after all. Aside from that, everything else is just a lot of good stuff, right? We're playing BLS, Valor, uh, we're playing Gores, the Grand Mole, Triple Tengu, which again, when we're trying to synchro, having Tengu seems pretty good. Right goes in here as well as two copies of Super Nimble Mega Hamster. You've seen Super Nimble Mega Hamster in multiple decks, but it actually has a bit of a toolbox here because it can actually search some of the other Nordic cards because they are in fact level three or lower B. So if you're in a pinch, you can get the Tengrisnir, special that face down. And then if that dies, you can summon two tokens. So it's sort of like a bad dandelion in a way. And you can bring out this guy as well, which can then switch to attack position to get your plays going. Sangen's in here as well as triple tour guide because we're in Xyz format and this is pretty much the name of the game. And there's some cool plays we can do with the extra deck. That does it for the monsters though. The spells are pretty generic. Book of Moon, Dark Coal, Heavy Storm, Mind Control, Monster Reborn, Double MST, Pot of Avarice, Double Duality. Duality is always strange during this time in Yu-Gi-Oh because combo decks like this also sort of played it. And even though it's counterintuitive because you want to be going into your extra deck for the Synchro and Xyz plays, at the same time, it's also nice to find some cards because the game was a bit slower back then. So I can sort of see the value in the card filtering. And then we get to the other Nordic card, Glepnir, the Fetters of Fenrir. This just says add a Nordic monster from deck to hand. So it's a bad Rota because it's a trap, but it's also quite good because you can sort of bait your opponent to try to like MST it or something. Thing. And if they do, not only did they waste an MST, but you got a search out of it as well. So you go plus one in that exchange, which is pretty nice, and you burn them of a resource. So it's, again, not great, but I can see the value of it. This is also a gorgeous looking ultimate rare, random fact. Mirror Force, Solemn Judgment, two warning, a torrential, and a trap dust shoot. The extra deck has cards such as Ally of Justice, Decisive Armor. If we can summon this, this would be insane. We have Ancient Sacred Wyvern, which is actually criminally easy to make in this deck, solely because the main tuner, uh, Golfaye, Golfaxe, is actually a light level four, and most of our other cards are threes. We have Black Rose, Brio, Colossal Fighter, Scrap Archfiend, Scrap Dragon, Stardust Dragon, the man himself. If you've never seen this card before, this card is actually a beast. Once per turn, you can negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls until the end of this turn. And once per turn during the end phase, if this face-up card you control was destroyed by your opponent's card and sent to the graveyard this turn, you can banish a Nordic tuner from your graveyard, special summon this card. If summoned this way, inflict 800 damage to your opponent. So there are some easy ways to deal with this, right? Most notably, Brio is a pretty easy level six for people to sink into to out this card. But if they don't have access to this, this card can be an asshole. But unfortunately, there's also Trishula, which is criminally easy to make as well, and also causes this card a problem. So because of the fact there's other ways to destroy cards without actually destroying them, that's sort of the issue here, right? And that's one of the reason why a deck like this just sort of struggled to keep up. And then the Xyz, we have a Lebier, which is very funny because if we're banishing our tuners to keep Thor up, we can actually bring them back. We have 
have Leviathan if we need a big dude. We have Terabyte, which we're never going to summon. We have Utopia, which, yeah, I mean, this could come up. Utopia is pretty good. And Roach is basically like another copy of Solemn. And then the side, two copies of Ally of Justice Core Destroyer. This is like mini Ally of Justice Cataster. It's also quite cute. We have a Consecrated Light, a Legendary Jujutsu Master, a copy of Raiko, Triple Ryo, Double Bottomless, Double Chain Disappearance, and Double Debunk. Uh, if we win this one, it will be nothing short of a miracle because Joseph's playing a real deck that had a lot of tops. And so we'll see how it goes. But honestly, if we just summon Thor, we're probably the hero of this episode regardless. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, Joseph, welcome to the Xyz era for the history of Jank. Gotta be honest, I didn't expect us to be here this quickly, nor did I think we were going to be playing the decks that we are playing this episode. Uh, I mean, we're not exactly playing like the Xyz focused decks you might think of from this time in Yu-Gi-Oh, but uh, I think we picked a couple good ones. I was going to say, welcome to the Xyz era. Now enjoy these two synchro decks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah. They are playing some Xyz cards, so that is quite relevant. Yeah, exactly. Well, you might be. I don't know if I am. Um, I will say uh, the Xyz era was dominated by unbelievably powerful rank three strategies early on. Uh, that would eventually change to unbelievably powerful strategies um, like Wind Up, uh, like Insector, and we are going to see none of that. Uh, instead, we are going to see some really, really bad decks. Though I will say, at a very bare minimum, people were better at deck building now than they were in 2011, you know? Really? I, it, Shocked. It, it gets a <laughs> lot better from this point on. Um, there's a lot more people tinkering with a lot of archetypes that did have promise on release rather than individuals being like, you know, here's my bulk. Could this take down a YCS? <laughs> I don't know if you saw it, but we're recording this in June of 2022. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a Nordic deck that topped yes. an event recently. Like and this last week. Was, yes, it was like last week. And this deck that we are playing today that I'm piloting was topped a YCS in 2011. 11 years ago. Oh my gosh. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, right? And Nordic has received support. So is TG. I mean, it has. Clearly, uh, based off your sleeves. They, and some decks are treated better than other <laughs> it's really funny because nordic was pretty much never playable so this might be nordic's like first premier top ever and of course and it's being only done premier top ever yeah <laughs> but i think i think I the nordic I deck from that. last week I, is I playing more that. nordic synchros than you are <laughs> uh, yes i think this deck is playing a total of one yeah they had so three we're gonna they have to see three. if if i summon the synchro i win i win by default yeah but for sure yeah. let's shout the patron it is karsten davis thank you for the support buddy do you have the hand up? Oh, geez. God, what do I even pick here? Uh, okay, I, I, I will. I will. I have one. Okay, uh, I'm going to roll a die because I don't feel confident. I'm going to go odd. It is odd. Three materials for uh, TG uh, Trident Launcher, which I am playing. Excellent. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, so we're cheating already. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Uh, fantastic. <laughs> just, we'll just skip to that part of the video. I know we're going to get there eventually. Exactly. And if not, then the comments will already do that as well. Uh, congratulations on moving, by the way. This is Thank the first you. video with the new setup that probably looks very bland. Yeah, uh, so. I'm just in like a big empty. It looks like a prison. And truly playing TG is a fitting punishment. I feel like I've got enough brain cells still working to slap this together. Buddy, it's history of jank. We're already we've been in prison for months but uh, if you want to pick paper we can start this game because i've been uh, on scissors here for a while oh joy me too uh, i have already picked paper oh. there we go oh yes there we go uh the rock paper scissors finally decided to work we didn't have to go out and quit and start a new game Isn't that'd be Dueling ridiculous the best piece of software oh you know what after that shuffle i think it actually is that's oh, a nice fuck. looking hand don't want to hear that all right uh good luck sir yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. go to main phase one i uh, okay i need to think how i want to do this uh there's a couple of options i think the better of the two is probably to set this one card and I'm going to set this one card and throw it to you. All right, so that's one of those stupid horses. This is like one of the goats. I'm gonna walk into it and you're gonna, you're kidding me. You are kidding me with that draw. That is literally the worst draw in my entire deck by a large I think large we need to have margin. a game to see who can pronounce the names of these Nordic monsters more poorly. I can't believe I just drew that card. Uh, I'm gonna summon TG Rush Rhino here. Okay. We're uh, Russian. We're going to go to combat. We'll attack into your stupid Tangna Valser or whatever. Uh, this is not a horse, but it's another four-legged friend in 
Raiko will oh. take out the Rush Rhino. Oh, okay. That's like a normal monster. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see what you get off the top of your deck here. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and mill three here. Uh, no! What? Those are all good cards! Happy to see those God three. You got it, it buddy. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. I'm actually not done. Since a monster was destroyed by battle, what? I get to special summon Tangnoster from my hand. <laughs> Yo, is that Tang Tangnoster? Of course. Uh, yeah, I'm so, I'm so sorry to all that. my Nordic viewers. I'm going to butcher all of these names. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. I guess I will go to the end phase, and I will trigger the effect of Rush Rhino. Sure. Go Endless Conga line of assholes. Endless Conga line of assholes. Back Here's to the striker. Okay. I'll draw. Anything in standby? No. Cool. Activate heavy. You are fucking with me, dog. Why would you say that? <laughs> uh, we'll book this guy. Uh, sure. That's fine. What do we get? What do we get? Seven you tools, bottomless. Ones, Striker yeah. in hand. Cool. Okay. Uh, so Tangnoster, Tangnoster, I don't know how to say this, uh, says when it's changed, defense position card on the field is changed to face up attack. It doesn't say it needs to be in face up defense when I do this effect. No, so I believe I can flip this and trigger it. Is yes, that correct? Yes, you can. Great. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and do that then. Uh, we get to special summon any Nordic beast from our deck in defense position, except another copy of itself. So, I actually really love the text change to face up attack position like the implication that you could change it to face down attack position uh darkness approaches buddy yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a card uh we're going to get another card that i cannot pronounce we're going to get tangrisnir and put it in defense mode yo is that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. How could you get them confused, right? I mean, <laughs> clearly, one's black and one's white. It's yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. This one, when it's destroyed by battle, I get to special some tokens, which I is I remember cool, this one. It's like whack dandelion. Infinitely worse than dandelion. <laughs> I think that's a generous comparison. I am I'm so close to just winning this game right now. <laughs> I'm dangerous. I did not think I'd be saying that playing Nordic on, like, turn two, but I'm oh, dangerous. I'm, dangerous I'm about to win. Oh, no. Mm, I'm so yeah, close. I just can't add the stars together. I can't, sadly. <laughs> uh, I guess you could say it was just not in the stars, but uh, I kind of want to go for it because it's cool, and I'm probably never going to get another chance to do this. I'll so just be whatever. honest with you, dog. I don't think anything in my hand is going to clear this. All right. Well, I'll bring out... Uh, Yo, no. <laughs> Gold Foxy, Gold Fa I, I, I no shot on this one, by the way. Uh, this one's called Gold Fax. Uh, we're going to make Scrap Archfee. <laughs> oh, cool, epic. Uh, reborn oh, Target Gold Faxy. Yeah. I'm going to sink for Ancient Sacred Wyvern. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go 27. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, I'll then take it. Ancient Sacred Wyvern gains 27 and goes to 4,800. I'm 500 off. Oh, man. That's that's go. rough. <laughs> so this guy is now a 9,000 attack point monster? Correct. Oh, uh, 9,600 to be exact. That is a really crazy card for me to draw two and a half turns ago. Okay. Uh, let's special summon TG Striker. I mean, we knew this was coming. Obviously. The f hell do I do next? Okay, I do have a play. It's very good. <laughs> uh, we are going to uh, normal summon Flamvel Fire Dog, and then I am going to send them to the graveyard for Brianac. Okay. All right, we're going to go Brianac. I'm going to pitch two, including T King Tiger Wonghu and fucking <laughs> Flamvel Magician I draw off the top of the goddamn deck. I can't believe I get back. to win. No, <laughs> come on! <laughs> Effect Veiler. You just drew the Effect Veiler to beat the Bryo. <laughs> yeah, it just it happened to work that oh, way. Oh, it just happened to work that way. Oh, well, I'm glad it yeah. happened to work out for you, buddy. Let's see if I can manage a Synchro Summon this time. I, I'm very proud that the first game I play with Nordics, I actually won the game. So uh, I'll take it. One away from actually cleaning up. Let's go. Your sixth card again. There's one of these in the deck! <laughs> oh, my God. that's fine. That's fine. I don't need him. I don't need him. He's just, he's he's holding me down. All right, listen. <clears throat> I'm going to do a really funny thing here. I'm going to normal summon King Tiger Wongu. Okay. I'm going to special summon TG Warwolf. Okay. King Tiger Wongu will destroy TG Warwolf. That it will. I will set to proceed to end phase and activate the effect of TG Warwolf. Sure. Uh, I will go ahead and get a copy of Striker. And back okay. to you. 
All right. Uh, Wang, who's sort of a... Uh, Andy can stand by. No, no. Okay. Yeah, Wang, who's sort of a problem in this deck because the the other nordic cards are like quite tiny buddy you better prepare for so, the flamvel magician beatdown. oh it's coming I, you know i know it's coming he actually he doesn't even survive he's got 1400 <laughs> duality's fine oh oh look at that right off the top that seems like a great card let's take yeah, that one you, yeah good good thinking good thinking i don't even know if that was correct i just saw it and i figured it's the card that would piss you off the most so i'll fire it. all right i'm thinking here i'm gonna chain sure. mst targeting my mirror force Excellent. Nice heavy At least storm, you took idiot. it out on your own terms. That makes sense. Wang, who's a problem? I will just set two. I think I'll just pass. I don't think I'm in a big rush. All right. Uh, stand by me. I'm in a normal TG rush rhino. Okay. This one survives. All right. Let's go. Wah, wah. So 17 and then 2K. Yep. All right. Back to you. End step. I will activate Glepnir, the Fetters of Fenrir. Wow. You tried on that one. I will add a Nordic monster my hand uh cool little trap by the way this is like the worst rota i've ever seen in my life <laughs> it can make your opponent neg though if you like set that is it true that it's like a jar MST. of greed type situation right which is still awful like i'd rather just have rota but mm. you know it's fine i'll get tang -yostier. okay sure sure all right we'll draw uh that is probably the worst draw in my deck i need to like not die and it's not looking too hot. I know you have Striker. And, I will... and you have a sneaking suspicion I have Flamevel Magician. <laughs> yes, a, just a hunch, you know. Uh, I'm going to run out Gulfaxe. Yeah. Gulfale. Uh, I'm going to crash with your Rhino. That's fine. It's not great. Uh, that's it. Uh, I'm going to trigger Rhino. Yes, we that's why this is not We will grab Warwolf. I'll start my turn. Stand by me. Well, this stinks. Uh, let's go duality here. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll take seven tools. I'll put these two back. Don't really think you need dark hole on this board. Although I would like <clears> to <throat> do that. Uh, I'm gonna normal striker. Have it blow up. Uh, battle. <laughs> Seventeen. Yeah, that's fine. Second main, I'll set one. End phase, I'll trigger striker. Sure. And we'll go get a rush rhino. Makes sense. Thankfully, Rhino can it itself. I will draw. You know, that's pretty good. Run out Tango. No! Yeah. I should have gotten I Book of crash. Moon. crash. Yep. Trigger Tengu. That's fine. Let's get a Tengu. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I can chain the uh, Tangnostier because a monster was killed by battle as well. Wow. So I'll do that. Uh, uh, I believe it comes out in defense. Shh. Sure, that's fine. Uh, no, it actually, it can be attacked. I'll just leave it in defense, that's fine. I'll smack you for 17 with the tank. I'll take it. Okay. Fun fact about uh, TG Warwolf, me. did you know it cannot trigger in the damage step? Really? Learn that, that just is now. <laughs> frustrating. All right, uh, so we're going to begin by special summoning TG Striker. Yeah, we knew you had this. That's fine. Uh, and then because I've special summoned a TG Striker, I'm going to summon a TG Warwolf. Let's normal Rush Rhino. <laughs> Rush Rhino is fine. And then all three TGs to the graveyard for their ultimate boss, TG Trishula, King of the Ice Barrier. Uh, okay. I imagine you are activating the effect. I would like to. I will activate effect. Here. Oh, you're kidding me. Boy, that is really, really upsetting. Oh, my goodness. All right, uh, I'll go to combat here. Uh, let's just attack Tangnoster. The man who has Trish is complaining. Uh, he's down. All right. Uh, blech, blech. Back to you. I probably shouldn't have seven summoned the Tagnoster, but my logic was I just didn't want to die. Yeah, no, so. I, I will tell you right now, you were absolutely correct to summon Tagnoster. Okay, good. Uh, I don't get the summon, but it's fine. Uh, what's the move now? I will turn Tengu sideways. You got it. Still with you. I will set one, and I will set one, mm. and I will pass it to you. Stand by main. Oh, right on time. All right, I'm going to normal summon Flamefell Magician. Sure. I will mind control your set card. I'm going to chain MST to your back room. <sighs> Uh-oh. Sure. Uh, you may have it. It is a Sangin. Oh, that's ass. That is really ass. Okay, so... You want a Synchro, buddy? I, I kind of did. I was sort of planning on it. So if I Synchro, I can make Black Rose. Let me help you out, Black Rose. I think uh, that's a good call. All right, we'll just go combat. I'll hit your monster with my powerful Flamvel Magician. Trigger Tengu. I will grab a Tengu. I imagine it will not be long for this earth, so I'll just immediately send it to the graveyard. Yeah. Second main. Oh, man. I mean, Black Rose is a big guy. What's the worst thing you possibly get? The Nordic Beast who searches extra Nordic be or who summons extra tokens, which I can't get over over the course of four turns. So you can just have him back, unfortunately. Okay. 
Uh, I'm okay with that. I'll draw. I'm going to normal summon tour guide. Yeah, that's fine. Activate tour guide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will grab a shocker. I will get tour guide because the Sangen's already on the field. Mm -hmm. I'm going to flip the Sangen. Still with you. I'm going to overlay everything. Everything? No. For number 34 terror bite, which has 2,900 defense points. What do you want me to do? <laughs> oh my God. He's huge. <laughs> oh my God, this is the worst card I've ever seen. All right, um, I mean, I'm not dying anytime soon, but if I didn't make this play, I probably was dead. Uh, I could take your Flambell Magician, which- Do you want him? I, I could please, take, please. Uh, I could take him and crash him into your Trish so you don't get it back but that would require me to take a shit ton of damage, and I don't think that's the right move. Uh, instead, I think I'm just gonna set one pass. Stand by main. Uh, I, we should also figure this out now. Do you want to play by if Sangen triggers on detach or if it has to go to the graveyard in the traditional way? If you want my opinion, I feel like we should play by the way it actually works because I don't think Sangat was ever intended to work that yeah, way. Yeah, I think yeah, that well. was just like a lapse in time. And if that benefits you, you know, consider it a gift. Hooray. <laughs> well, d shit, how do I out this? I, I have an out. It's just not very clean and dies to all back row. So let's try it. Excellent. I'm going to normal summon Flamvel Fire Dog. Still with you. You really want to see this after you draw the Flamvel Magician. Let me just state that for the record. Ideally, that's how the deck works. We'll make Scrap Dragon. Yeah, I can't let that go. I have a warning. Uh, oh, that's why you didn't want to crash it. Okay, I see. Yeah. Well, you know, this is a fun game of Yu-Gi-Oh! we're playing here today. <laughs> I'll space the back row. Oh, come <laughs> on! <laughs> it's anyone's game, buddy. Uh, it's anyone's the, the game. The stoppable force meets the movable object. The movable object. Oh, that's like the best draw in my deck. <laughs> Back to you. I will activate Glepnir. Oh, no, shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even think this is good! Oh, dude. Yeah, I guess if you have a way to clear this, I sort of need a way to, like, not die. So I will get the Tangyastir. Sure, yeah. Because I can just summon that off it's of... just, like, uh, the worst Oh, I mean, well, it has to die in battle, though, so I don't think it's that good, but whatever. We'll try. I'll draw. Uh, shit. That's not very good. Go. Mm, come on. That's a good draw about 15 fucking turns too late. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you. Okay, we'll draw. I'm thinking to myself now, maybe I should have gotten the white goat because I could have said it and it makes tokens at least. Mm. And then we could have gotten somewhere. Uh, instead, I will set a monster and I will throw it to you. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you and I have not always been on the same page, God. But I appreciate that you come through for me when I need you most. Uh, Dark hole. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I have no response to this yet. All right. I'll Everything does. And now I will normal summon Flamvel Fire Dog. Fuck. Can I just tell you? Yeah. I cannot believe I had four dark monsters ha! stacked on top of one another. <laughs> what an awful game. <laughs>You know, I made that joke about detaching a material just to take the Flambell uh, Magician, and that could have possibly won me the game, even if I just, just let you had it back at the end of the turn. Uh, so you, you had no darks? They were all no in darks. the terror I had, like, four lights, no darks. Unbelievable. <laughs> I, nev I never thought in the history... You know, I don't think it would be History of Jank if I did not summon fucking Terror Bite in an episode. So the, that card has the, the terror never been summoned in you ever. out of this. Oh my god, this hand is almost playable. That's the first time I've been able to say that this set. I will set two and pass. Sixth card, Flamvel Magician. Let's go. Oh, Please. Thank god. Okay. Uh, we are going to special summon TG Striker. We are going to normal summon TG Rush Rhino. That is also fine. Uh, battle. Sure. Wow. Meet my legendary jujitsu master. Send him back to the top. Shit. <laughs> I was really hoping you wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, good thing I didn't synchro first. Uh, main two, I will set two cards back to you. Okay. Uh, end phase, I will activate Glepnir Fetters. Yeah, just of go, Fenrir. dude. Just go for it. This card is just awful. I don't know, like, what I'm supposed to. I think I actually would have preferred you synchroed because then it turns on the horse yeah, and then yeah, yeah. that would have probably been better for me in all honesty all right well we've done everything in this episode except actually summon thor so maybe that should be my goal yeah i guess i just get the horse whatever mm -hmm. all right we'll draw stand by main one uh i got the heavy again i just i just don't know what to say i you're just you're just goaded with the sauce
Don't you miss when this card was legal, buddy? It's uh, it's such a fair Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah. Sadly, I don't really have like much good follow-up after row. that. That's three in a row. You, you've drawn it three times in a row. I'm going to set a pair and pass. Hey, look what I found. It's Rush Rhino. All right, let me pot up Who would have thought? Sure. Um, we're not making a... Oh, there he is! Ooh. Cool, there he is! He's right there. You know what? I'm actually... You better take good. him. I'm taking EM1. <laughs> Piece EM1's a good shit. one, too. Yeah. I'll, I see why people can't stand Flamevel. I'm going to normal rush right now. Wow. Wait, what did you add off Glepnir? I added the horse. The well, that narrows body. it down. Uh, the, the tuner? The what? The tuner, yes. All right, the tuner. I'll just try to attack your okay. white horse. Uh, this is actually Super Nimble Mega Hamster. Oh, good. Okay, that's like a normal uh, card. So we're going to trigger that and also trigger Tang Nostir and summon him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you added the trap, correct? TGEM1, yeah. Okay. Uh, you have a four and a two out on the field. Though I am under duality. You are also under duality, so you can't even do much anyway. Oh, I was out here like, what are you possibly thinking about? Just go get Raiko. And then I was like, oh, you have other targets. Yeah, there's other targets because I'm playing the Nordics. <laughs> What's cool is that Tang Yoster is actually not once per turn. Uh, oh, it is once per turn. I'm sorry. Never mind. No, no, no. Oh, no. It's once per it's, turn per it's copy. It's soft OPT, It's soft yeah. once per turn. Yeah. So I could actually just get a bunch of pluses here if you can't clear my dudes. Uh, or like you said, the other option is to get Rhino. But I could also just summon that off of the thing anyway. Oh yeah, let's let's like just let's just plus. That sounds like fun. Uh, this gets set though, so this will yep. go face down. Uh, second main, I'll set one. Could literally be anything. Back to you. All right, space the. No, you opened heavy storm space <laughs> against the trap deck again. <laughs> Oh, I'm God. just too good. What yeah, could you yeah, expect? Yeah, yeah. All right, main one. I'm going to flip both of yeah, these just, to attack. Just draw eight cards, dog. Effects. It's fine, yeah. Yeah, basically. Uh, so I'm going to summon the goat, and I'm going to summon... It's any Nordic beast. Yep. So I will get a horse yep. while I'm at it, too. Oh, I'm just dead. Uh, so I can summon Thor, which is kind of neat. I don't know if I want to. I don't think that's good, but it's a play. I could go for Thor because it's the, it's the fun play. <laughs> Right. This is history of Jank. Is history of Jank. I, I, I need a monster to put on the thumbnail. And like when I ever put a card on the <laughs> thumbnail of history of Jank that I don't actually, that neither of us actually plays. No, never. I would never do that. Like Thor is, if you've read it, not very good. <laughs> He's not fantastic, <laughs> but he is not fantastic. However, no, he, he is funny as shit. He is funny as shit. I would also like to be out of the jank tank. So I think I'm actually going to do a play similarly to what I did before. Oh, boo. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be lame. I'm sorry. Uh, I just, I, I need to actually win. So we're going to go sink the horse and one of the black goats, Ancient Sacred Wyvern. Yep. I have yet to commit to a normal summon this turn. Right. Uh, I'm going to normal summon the other horse that I have. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to sadly sync with these. Otherwise, my goat, the other goat can't go to attack because I summoned it this turn. The Synchro 7s are not as cool. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. We're going for Thor. Yeah! I don't care. Let's just go for it. Like, we have the material. Let's do it. All right. The boy is here. Uh, I can use his effect to negate all face-up monsters you control, Ooh. which does jack diddly shit because they all trigger in the graveyard. <laughs> uh, but that's neat, so whatever. Uh, let's go... How can I, I? I don't think the damage actually matters here. So we'll go Thor into Rush Rhino. I take what, 19 here? 19, yes. And then we'll go Wyvern into the Striker, and that's all I got. All right, I'll use Rush Rhino to get Striker and uh, Striker to get Warwolf. Yes. So the smart play would have been to sink for another seven, and then I could have. Cleared Striker, attacked over your uh, Rush Rhino, and then Ancient Sacred Wyvern would have been pretty buff, so it could have done more damage, but it's not Thor, so we went for it. And now we lose the game. You would tell me if you had an effect Veiler in hand, right? I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. I am the most <laughs> honest, kind-hearted friend you've ever known. I legit, I feel like I have to play around. I feel like, okay, 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 okay. No big <laughs> deal, no big deal. I feel like you can't out this. Uh, I'll special okay. striker. I'll special warwolf. Okay, right. that makes sense. I'll sink them off. We're gonna make Cataster. Attempt to move asshole. to battle phase before you leave main phase. Yeah, nothing. You're fine. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, let's <laughs> let's try to walk into a uh, wyvern here. Uh, sure. So it just gets immediately destroyed. Uh, no damage. All right. So unfortunately, <laughs> you you talked a lot of shit about Thor, but he is <laughs> he is. He is not a very powerful monster on field. 
but he is hard to get rid of. Um, that is true. I'm going to set one and pass. All right, we'll draw. I think standby. No, no. Uh, main one. I guess we try for it. <laughs> Bad, well, excuse me. Main one, activate the effect yeah, of Thor. Yeah, yeah, Let yeah. me do that first. Uh, negate, I need to negate Kakasta, otherwise this is just a bad idea. Uh, we'll swing it. Okay, you've got two Nordic Beast tuners. All right, uh, I'm going to Mirror Force here. So this will kill Thor. Uh, second main, I've got a set, and I believe in the end phase, I get to trigger Thor here. You so are So in the correct. end phase, it was destroyed by a card you controlled. I will banish a Nordic tuner, special summon it, and then I get to deal 800 damage to you. So we'll bring this back. I will banish a horse, and I will pass the turn. Wow, that is really not what I wanted to see. Okay, uh, duality. Sure. Uh, okay. Man, I wish I had a TG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's take Rush right now. Okay. Uh, we'll normal the rush right now. That is fine. Combat? Yep. Cataster in. Okay, so Cataster will trigger. This will kill the Thor. And then Rhino for two. I will take the 2,000. Well, that's the last Nordic tuner in the graveyard, at least. So end phase, we'll banish the other tuner. And we'll activate Glepnir Son and of get a the boot. other one, oh. baby. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's never going away. Oh we'll draw. <laughs> This is unbelievable. All right. Well, you're at a back row, which is pretty good. Uh, we will activate the yeah. effect of yes. Thor, negating uh -huh. the effects yeah. of new monsters. Normal summon tour guide. Activate tour guide. Yeah. We'll get tour guide. Yeah. Let's make Levy air. No. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Yup. Levy air, bring back Gunfall. <laughs> Yeah. We'll go to battle. Uh -huh. I will go Thor into Cataster. I'm taking what, 12, 13 here? 13, yes. Okay. I'm actually going to purposefully crash Gulfaya so into mad. Rush Rhino so just so yeah, I have yeah, fodder yeah, for yeah, Thor. Yeah. And then 18 with the Levier. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right, I'm going to go grab, uh, what's his name? This guy. <sighs> Come on. I know I got, I know I got shit. Ah, uh, I've got to play and it loses to a okay. failure. I've got to play okay. and it loses to a fail. I'm going to summon striker. I'm going to normal, normal four. Yeah, baby. I'm, I'm Let's go. Him to the grave. Let's I'm go. Making Brio. Brio target Thor. You have outed Thor. Oh, successfully, thank, sir. thank the Lord. <laughs> what a, that card is such an asshole. All right, get, get in there. All right. So I'm going to take five from this. <sighs> yeah. Uh, sure. Then I will summon Tagnos. How do you still since have you these? killed something in battle? How? This is the third copy. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, we'll draw. Main one, I will switch this to attack. I will grab, I think, no targets in my deck. <laughs> Fuck off. You <laughs> are kidding out. me. Oh, Drew's entire I've deck. Through, I've gone through the white goat. I've gone through three black goats. And I have all... I, the last horse is in my hand. So I am out of targets. Epic. Well, shit. I was going to just make Thor again, but I can't do that. I wish I had, like, Avarice or something. That would have been sick. Uh, what the fuck do we do now? Uh, this is probably fine. I will normal summon the horse. Yeah. I will sink for... I guess scrap Archfiend because it's the biggest fucker. Good I enough. Have and <laughs> hit you for four. Yep. Uh, go. I've got one. I I've got very few guys left. All right, come on. Wow. Well. All right, I'll set one back to you. Okay. You don't sound like you're out of it. Uh, we'll try to game shot. It's a warning. Oh! oh we did it! I can't believe oh, I can't believe I lost the game after you made Thor. Oh. That is unreal. You talked me into it. You I, talked I, me I, into I, it. So you have no one you, to blame you know but what, yourself. You know what actually as soon as you made Thor, I knew it was over. I was like, if Simo had just made like Black Rose or Scrap Archfiend or something, I would have won this a hundred times out of a hundred. Yep. Once Thor yep. comes out, protagonist powers activate, <laughs> cannot lose the game from that position. Yeah, I wasn't wow. losing anyway. I had gores in hand. Oh too, yeah. So no. <laughs> well, great. Awesome. Jeez. Yeah. Um, I will say, going into this, you could say I may have been a bit skeptical about Nordic. Oh. I, I can't imagine why. Yeah, right? you don't get to um, hear this, commenters, but uh, we talk shit about every single one of the History of Jank decks for about an everyone. hour before we film. Everyone. <laughs> but... I will say, I was actually sort of impressed the efficiency you are able to synchro summon with this deck. Mm -hmm. The uh, Black Goat, the uh, Tang Noster, which again, I apologize all my Nordic viewers. Uh, 
this was actually pretty impressive because you're most likely summoning it after something gets killed in battle, which means you almost guarantee yourself to get a tuner to get into a level seven or a non-tuner, which can actually get into more tokens potentially, which I didn't do in this match. And you then still have a normal summon in addition to that. And then if you pair that with other extenders as well, you can make like two level sevens or a level six and a seven fairly easy with this deck. Uh, and then not to mention just like other synergies of just playing just, you know, your good staple cards now that tour guides in the format and the like, uh, I, I thought this was actually quite fun. I don't think it was like very good, but I, it's better than I was expecting it to be. I will say that. Yeah, no, um, obviously, uh, Nordic has some pretty clear downsides. Uh, it's in impressively slow. Uh, the end bosses uh, aren't that good. Thor here was crazy, but crazy in a format where there's very few things that answer it. Uh, you know, right. playing against a more competent deck, it would maybe have been a different story. Um, but it does have sure. a lot of strengths. I mean, uh, Tangneeser is a whack Dandelion, but Dandelion's really good. Um, when you switched to Tangnoster to attack position, I mean, I lost the game there. <laughs> like, it was yeah. unreal. Um, yeah. And Ancient Sacred I Wyvern being legal at this point means that anytime you're ahead, you're really ahead. Right. And the fact that uh, the main tuner of the deck is a light to facilitate Synchro 7 so easily means that you can just finish games that probably would take a lot longer otherwise. I I also like the random synergy with super nimble mega hamster that this yeah. has <laughs> yeah. because being able to just get a copy of the Tagnostir off of this instead of like Ryko, like super nimble mega hamster is already a good card just solely because of Ryko. But the fact you have some like versatility in this like little beast toolbox here, uh, it's even a four to facilitate your synchro plays too. Mm -hmm. So it sort of is just like a natural inclusion into the deck as well. Uh, I mean, your deck, I mean, we've seen TG in like history of Yu-Gi-Oh before as well. Like this isn't yeah. really anything new, TG's weird. but, um, yeah, it's you you can go ahead and discuss that a bit more. Yeah, uh TG it's just a deck without a home, right? Like right. Uh for so long people played it like, "Oh, look at the cool TG synchros," but there's not really cool TG synchros. No. The benefit for playing the TG guys is you have easy lines to Wonder Magician, which um is okay in some matchups and like this in this one particularly, uh, absolutely dog water. Uh, you yep. have lines to make Trishula, which is really cool, and also a feature that this deck shares with, like, five others at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Um, yep. You have really sick back row in TGEM1, which is, like, a trap card uh, creature swap. Creature um, swap. But conditional, because you have to have a TG, um, which means that it's not very good. Uh, you can see that even this deck, which was, like, all in on TG, was supplementing it with the Flamvels, with King Tiger Wangu, just to have some game against uh, some of the other decks in this format. And uh, it's not hard to see uh, kind of why it peter petered out, uh, with the exception of the TG deck that was piloted to an unbelievable YCS finish uh, that was playing, like, um, Fiendish Chains and just, like, the TGs is, like... Uh, gene warped warwolves that refilled themselves uh the deck doesn't have a very um a long history of tops or anything and i think this game uh really showcased why it was weak to back row removal uh weak to uh aggressive strategies and strategies just get more aggressive and aggressive as time goes by um yeah, no, um, I'm I'm always happy to play the deck because I have a lot of fun with it. I think it's really interesting, uh, but really happy that we got to show off um, some of its weaknesses against a deck like <laughs> like Nordic. <laughs> and we have to, of course, shout out the MVP of the Nordic deck, Heavy Storm. Yeah, three games in a row. Three games. Uh, it is what it is. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout outs to Shadow1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Tim00, X3, MBT, Play, Medolce, Ika, Iron Fang, Chaotic Meatball, Part 2, Pony, Stark, Dan, The Man, Hoban, Synchro Guy, I Ship, MBT, and Simo, Draconic, Rockslide, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Phoenix the Immortal, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretch, John Two Base, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Zerius Business, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Hornet, TC Gaming, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, MBT, Caught Injecting his Fairy Lily, Matthew Brady, Max, the War Rock Investments Janitor, Valen Jackson, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Orange You Glad, I Didn't Say, Alpha Tribute, Benten, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515, The Anti Big Brain, Ben K, OTK Play, Simping for Simo, Mike Ty, Stolfan Amethyst, Tyler H, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, LGMBTQ, Nim Noodle, Malabranch of the Burning Tunnel, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, James Keen, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed or Boyfriends, MBT Cancel by All Community Soon, Cancel by All Committee Soon, Cancel by All Players Soon, 
Not reading cards makes the game interesting and you know it. The Undertaker versus CMO and MBT. Wait, play the concert video one more time. Hunter E, TTV Shrugs IX, Cayman CJ, ITF, to Arc Echo, and Corvain. Thank you so much for watching the video and we will see you next time.